is 757. It's the best podcast on the East Coast. No limit, you heard me? What the fuck? <laughs> yeah. God damn! That, and it was just so, and it's real. I'ma I'm sit in that bitch like that. You know? Black ass. You want a fortress? Dread damn! Head. No limit podcast with Shogun D-Lo. So you said it back. Let me. Let's start this over. Time and time again, we come back with the best of the best in the biz. Y'all already seen first season, so you actually already know what the name is. But for the ones that don't, we are the No Limit Podcast. Boston, we send them. West Coast with the Pippin. BET, that's a difference. Got this for the extension. Get on the Boston, we send them. West Coast with the Pippin. BET, that's a difference. Send K up in my mouth, I talk blue honchos, baby. Look up into the roof, that's where the stars go, baby. I got cargo, baby. Like I'm Frank from the 80s. Diamonds dance like a lady. Now I shine like the baby. Cartier's from the Cubans. I've been shopping in Houston. Still got love for the boosters. I'm up early like roosters, cause I I gotta get chicken. Glock 40 is sitting. They still let me like missions. But I show them the difference. Still got love for the killers. Q50 the quickest. Still whipping the kitchen. Now I'm popping like pimples. That boy softening dimples. You played in your cripples. Your bitch show me your nipples. Then she got a position. Glock 40 is tension. Your order bows, then we send them. West Coast with the pimping. BET, that's a difference. Got us riding the sprinters. While we rolling that sticky. Don't get caught with with that blicky, the hoes calling me trippy. They be like, hey, 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 what you doing? Hey, where you going? Hey, where you going? Hey, still right for Hey, still be torn? Oh my god. They be like, hey, 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 what you doing? What you doing? Hey, where you going? Where you going? Hey, still right for us? Hey, still be torn? Oh my god. Get all the bows, then we send them. West Coast with the Pippin. BET, that's a difference. Got this for the extension. Get all the bows, then we send them. West Coast with the Pippin. You already know what it is, ladies and gentlemen of the 757. This is the best podcast on the East Coast. You're now tuned in to No Limits Show with your guy, Just Ed, D-Lo the Shogun. And tonight, like I always say, I know y'all get tired of it. I'm bringing the best of the best of the best in the city. And tonight, we got Big A, 2900. What's good? Okay, then. I'm ready to start now. <laughs> you know, the crazy thing about it, before we get everything, the ball rolling, I be having conversations with them before the show start. Mm -hmm. Just see where they head at. Just see where they mind going. You know what I'm saying? Everybody a little different. This one right here, he a little chill. If y'all can't tell, look, look at the body language. He, he chilling. <laughs> he, 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 you know what I'm saying? So I'm, I'm a little weary. I want to see how this thing go. I want to see how this thing go. So first and foremost, for the audience and myself, I know you sent me, you were very prepared. Mm -hmm. You had music, mm -hmm. EBKs, interviews, and I'm sorry, I didn't watch none of them. Why? Because I wanted to be surprised. Why? You know what I'm saying? I want everything to be new for me, just like it's going to be new for everybody else. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? We tapping in, not just to the East Coast, but Midwest, West Coast, right. Africa, you know, everywhere. Mm -hmm. We want everybody to look and, you know, feel, get you, you know, see the new you. Right. So, um... First and foremost, where are you from? I'm from Portsmouth. Okay. Right right here in Portsmouth, Portsmouth, Virginia. Born and raised? Yep, born and raised. All right, all right. Now, since you said that, it's it's a standard question. Mm -hmm. Standard question. G-Face, baby. I, look, he did it. He he did it to himself. He made this post mm -hmm. on Viral Virginia. <laughs> and I'm sorry for what I'm about to say. He said, Portsmouth women are the best women of the 757. Do you agree or not agree? Could you, you hit me with that subtle nod? Like, I don't know. Okay. All right. I that's fine. I don't know about the, uh, I mean, we got some great women. Shout out to our women. You okay. You know what I'm saying? That, I'm trying to get all the answers because I told him he was drunk as hell. I didn't experience. <laughs> I've experienced and, you know, he just, it just wasn't for me. You know? Right, right, right. But, hey, everybody different out here. Yeah. So, Born and raised in Portsmouth, like 
when did you know music was it for you? Um, I started music shit. I started music in middle school for real. You know, dribbling, dabbling in it. Once I really got interested in it, mm-hmm. then um, you know, through high school. But I probably say, probably when I graduated, having a tour experience and shit. That's why I was like, this, this for me. I like this. I'm okay, really, hold on now. You yeah. can't just put in them little. Them subtle, subtle jabs and not say anything. Mm-hmm. Tour experience yeah. in high school or after no, high no, school? No, no, no. After high school, my fault. Okay. Yeah, after high school. So you had your first tour after high school. Mm-hmm. How was that experience? That was great. That was a great experience. No, 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 no. I mean, Come it was. Give me, was, give me some, give me some I juice. Mean, she, I, I traveled the whole East Coast from New York down to Florida. You know mm. what I'm saying? And just trying to shoot out there trying to get my music heard across the world you know what i mean okay. trying to, that's when it was more uh, still cds and shit being passed out you know what i'm saying so basically hit the road and got some c- cds printed up and shit and some flies and you know the the regular way that people try to get into the game being being that most people when they start music you know they have like a a build up, like artists developing a little bit. Right. But by you being straight out of high school and going on tour where you kinda like no, overwhelmed. It, it won't really straight out of high school. It was a couple of years after? Yeah, it was okay. like at least after like maybe I was like twenty three. Okay. You know okay. I mean? But well, I went straight out of high school, no. So did you have shows before then? Before you went on not, tour? Not really. No, not really. I didn't have no shows like right in high school. But and, I had, oh yeah, but I had shows before I went on tour. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's see, that's yeah, what yeah, I'm yeah, asking because, yeah, yeah. like, to start music, knowing this is what you're gonna do, knowing that this is your passion, and then going straight to tour. Right. You got to be ready for that. Or yeah, I mean, you do, yeah. and you have a bunch of people looking at you, cameras out. You know, yeah. yeah. That experience no, no, alone to do, has yeah. to do something for you. Yeah, I just went state to state, man. I had I got with it like a promoter, dude. And um, Coast to Coast. Uh-huh. You, know, you ever heard of Coast to Coast? Yes, I have. And I was touring with them, yeah, going to state to state to, you know, be on their platform. Which is ironic because we've had, we had another artist, uh, shout out to God's Gamble. He said the same thing. He's doing, he's going through Coast to Coast right now. Uh-huh. And I know, what was his name? Lil Mozzie, the guy that made Blue Fago. Little light skin, kind of looks like an avatar, but, you know. Oh, no, you know, okay. Well, he he made Blue Fago and he he won coast to coast and uh-huh. and yeah, but uh, yeah, man, that that that's got to be a dope feeling. What was your best state or best city during the tour? Um, probably Florida, Florida. Miami, King of Diamonds. We did the King of Diamonds and um, they got a strip club. Yeah, I bet yeah. it was. I, <laughs> I bet it was. <laughs> <laughs> and um, Cleo's, uh, I think it was called. Yeah, Cleo's in Orlando. That's a strip club too. Uh huh. Hey, no wonder. Hey, look, y'all. Yeah. No wonder that was his best time. But anyway, yeah, it wasn't just because. But yeah, that was. It was a lovely time. Okay. I guess it was because. Yeah, I guess uh, you can say. Hey, look, man, you talking to a stripper advocate? I love strippers. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It, it, anyways, another right, time. Right, right, right. But uh, I would say also because of the crowd that came out too. Like I ain't never seen a crowd like that before too. Mm. Yeah, they really they really come out and support, you know. And it just is it Florida in general or just that city in Florida? It was um, what you mean, like the people, like yeah, like were the people just like you know how some when you go to a different state and mm-hmm. they be like, oh, you got Southern hospitality, or you go to New York and you be like, yo, they rude, or, you yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah, it was um, I would say probably Florida, uh, Florida in general. Mm. You know what I mean? That Southern hospitality, and okay, you know what I mean? It yeah. was cool down there, you know. Okay, so when it comes to your music, who mm-hmm. who were like big influences? Like growing up, who was your go to if you had to buy an album? Uh, my influence was to make me start music was Fifty. Mm. You know what I mean? When Fifty came out, that's what made me start music. Like I was, oh, that's what I'm gonna do. You know what I'm saying? And that was like middle school. You know I, mean? I think he persuaded a lot of kids to do bad yeah. things, <laughs> like <laughs> like the G Unit, the the, the real, sweaters, the belts, the the yeah. hats, the video games. Like Fifty yeah. was definitely a pioneer in his own right. For real, that's what made me start to do music. Um, and then like the Dipset era, mm-hmm. you know what I mean. Uh, 
stack which, bundles and which is kind of crazy, bro. Because I'm listening to you talk right now, mm-hmm. and like, and you said Fifty Cent, and you said you're from Portsmouth, mm-hmm. but you know who I what I hear, bro? What you hear? Like a little Louisiana. Oh, you got man. anybody in your family from Louisiana? Not that I know. No, Mm-mm. I don't know if you heard this rapper, man. His name is uh, he's passed away now, but uh, G Money. Yeah, you sound like G Money, bro. Oh word. I ain't never heard that before. I know who G Money is. Yeah, so. you you sound like G Money, man. Mm-hmm. I, I don't know why, but you just sound like him. But uh, let's talk about the song that you got right now that we mm-hmm. played in the intro. My name. My name is A. Yeah. Yeah, that's a single from um my upcoming project I got coming out September six. What no. what was the influence? Where was your head at? Um. Honestly, it was just one of them nights in the studio. Um, I don't know. That's a good question. Where my head was at? In the sky. <laughs> you know, because the reason why I asked that is because who did I have? I Hi, think I had uh, Nino the Carter. He uh-huh. was here uh, a couple weeks ago, and yeah, he was like, boy up there. "When uh, he makes a song, he could be angry, he could be sad." Yeah, and he was. Big. That's why I wanted to see because. What is who is the um, song? I'm feeling um, it's just a it's it's a catchy song. I just wanted to make something catchy. Mm-hmm. I heard the hook, I, what the hook was gonna be before I laid the verse, and I just came with, you know, my my shit talking, how how I how I flow. I just came with it. And if you were to put it on an album or a mixtape or even an EP, is it something like you pushing as a single, or is it something that you like? Okay, look, I, I, I already it. I I dropped um two singles already off the project that's mm-hmm. going to be on the project that's already doing good numbers and shit mm-hmm. um on the floor again featuring jml peso and jake the table and my name is a okay yeah so they 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 doing good you okay. know as far as streaming wise it's, you know i like that how many projects are we looking at hmm? how many projects are we looking at as like far how as many already out? Yeah, that are already out right now between um, mixtapes, EPs. Because right now I want people to be like, okay, I I want to look him up. Right, this is my third project. This your third one. Yeah. yeah okay. This is my third project I'm gonna put together. Have you seen a difference from your first to your, to your third? Yeah, I've seen some growth. Some growth. Yeah. Now, when you say growth, what do you mean by like number number wise and more followers and stuff like that? Okay. Like from what I put out into. Now I'm working with the new team I got and all that, you know. Also, when you said growth, is it like um, verbiage or things that you've been through, or I just think I grew as an artist overall. Mm-hmm. Also, you know, from you can never feel my pain was a project I put out, and I had just came home from you know being incarcerated in jail, or whatever. Um, that was my first. Uh, project I put out as soon as I got out like that February or something and um then I came back with the the handsome hustler Mm -hmm. that was and then I'm coming back with the handsome hustler too but what's new about this project is you know I mean me working with bigs and all that now we about to see what I get tired of hearing his damn name (laughs) no offense no offense to bigs man yeah bigs doing his thing you know know, the thing about uh bigs man it's just like Every other artist I bring up here, they're like, bigs, 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 bigs. Well, guess what, ladies and gentlemen? I got the guy coming. I talked to him, you know what I'm saying? And he was like, look, just give me a date. And I was like, all right, cool. Yeah. So we bringing bigs to the No Limit podcast. Oh, yeah. got to come be- up here. Because he's, it seems like he's been a big influence to a lot of artists in the area. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Definitely is. Because, I, I mean, you had August, you had... uh. Her side, De Niro, little mm-hmm. stupid, um, big sleaze. This is a whole bunch of y'all. Yeah. It's all, you, so have you tried different like producers and engineers, or is that just? Yeah, I've tried. I work with like um, Beats Mafia, like just to think off top. Uh, Business Boy before, uh, a producer named Business Boy, um, Bigs of course, um, Young Boy MJ. Okay. That's a part of the team also. He did a um, couple, of, I think he did a couple of joints on the project, the new project. Mm. Uh-huh. And he ain't, he ain't number 14, 13, 14 or something. You said like what? That. Like 14, 15 or something. Years old? Yeah, producer, yeah. Cold. Bro, stop playing with me, I'm bro. I'm serious. 
He I'm 14, he about 14, 15. Yep. Producer. Producer. Out here doing it. Out here. Hey, that's somebody to look for, man. Yep. That's, Seriously. That's doing that's his crazy. thing. And he produced, some, he produced some tracks on my joint. That's crazy. Do we mm-hmm. have him here tonight? Uh, I would have to go. See, I would have to uh, hit Biggs and ask which one he actually was on. Okay. Know, well, which one well, he... well, next time we need that. Because I would love to hear that. Because yeah. it, I, will, I love seeing people's foundation. You right. know what I'm saying? Especially being young. Uh-huh. You know, you never know where where it might take you. Right. You know, if you stick Real with talk. it. So, how would you describe yourself as an artist? Um, more on the I probably mm, as an artist. Um, I don't know. I I just try to give you me. You know, I just try to be myself. Give you my story. Hopefully, you catch and grasp onto it and like it. You know what I mean. Um, I try to be honest in my music as much as possible. You know what I mean? Try not to, to speak no fakeness or whatever the cap. You know what I mean? So everything. Okay. Now, now, now I'm about to fact check you now. Mm-hmm. You, ladies and gentlemen, you know how I get down. See, so everything in your raps is real. Yeah, most, everything for the okay. Most, for the most part. Okay. Yeah, for the most, I mean, you know, you're going to. I mean, every rap, rapper going to make up, you know what I mean, some. It's the industry, so right, I mean, it's, right. inter- it's entertainment it's, it's industry. Entertainment, yeah. Yeah, at the end of the day, you're gonna you're gonna not necessarily make up a story, but you're gonna give them something like, yeah, right. You know what I'm saying? I, I I feel it. Do you feel like that's a problem with the industry right now, though? Like back then, back then we, you know, as kids and stuff, we looking mm-hmm. at the TV and we watching Little Wayne's and we watching the DMXs and, and uh, big time people, right? right? Jay-Z's, Nas's, mm-hmm. and we're looking at the cars, we're looking at the clothes, the houses, MTV cribs, and be like, damn, they really got it. Mm-hmm. But then as social media develops and moves forward and we can grab information now, right. we can, we got websites where I can look up your address, right. I can see who's on the D, you know right. what I'm saying, if right. you're renting or owning. Do you feel like that's a problem now? Does it like, does the, the door right. go away? Like, like the, the imagination the, door, the, like the oh entertainment yeah, you really from doing real it. life. Yeah, um, to a certain extent, because you can really see what a person really got going on on a day to day basis. You know what I mean? Compared to, you would have to guess. You know, back in the day, what Fifty is doing. You know what I mean? Like on what this person is doing now, they can hop on live and show you how they live and how they can hop on. You know what I mean? They can you can see it through the social media. So I mean, to a certain degree, yeah, it, it kind of separates it. Cause to me personally, I see it, and I'm just like, I've been through it. I I did pursue that music mm-hmm. realm of like trying to put out stuff, and then when you get around those big kids, and you're just like, oh damn, that Lambo not yours, right? Like, you renting it, right? I can rent a Lambo, Lambo yeah. You know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. I I can rent a good a condo, right? You know, I could pay girls to be around me, well, take pictures. Uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? Right. But it's just like, are they giving false hope because the kids out here they're watching them. Or the teenagers are like, man, I don't need school. All I got to do is write good, and I'm, I'm straight. Mm, good, yeah. You know? So, it, I don't know. It's one of those things where I'm iffy about the right. situation. Mm-hmm. Like, when people look for you, right? When they, you know, go to your music, go to your page and look for something, and you're saying to them, oh, yeah, all oh, this is real. Is it something that can motivate? Yeah. You feel like that? Okay. Right, right, yeah. I'm starting to switch my questions up a little bit because mm-hmm. I want to see if the artist is just in it for the money right? or they in it for the change. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because, mm-hmm. and, and I, I and I give props to Nino to Carter because when he was on here, he was like, yo, I've been locked up. Mm-hmm. I've been doing this, that, and the third. But I'm thinking about the kids. And he right. said he was from Portsmouth as well. Right. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, when I first moved up here, I've only been in the 757 since 2015. Mm-hmm. And they said Portsmouth, they used to be like Pistol City. Mm-hmm. I was like, well, well, why do they call it that? Right. <laughs> you know what yeah, I'm saying? Right, like, right. But now they're trying to change the, the narrative of, of the you know the city and the environment to right. something positive. But you have a lot of artists out here, and I want to know, like, okay, cool. Mm-hmm. Are y'all changing too? Or y'all just be like, yeah, y'all come on my block, I'm going to blow your top off type shit. No, nah, not me. Okay. Yeah, no, nah, I ain't. I ain't coming like that. You I, I can I mean? dig it. Um, what would you say is your your demographic like? Age range, race, or you know what I'm saying? Um, f- from what I seen, like from what I know, it's like from 
21 to 34. You know what I mean? So we could play it in the club. Yeah. Okay, then. Because mm-hmm. we need more club music. Right. But then again, again, I'm doing reference checks. I had OG Tevo here the other week, and he said, there's too many clubs in the 757. How do you feel about that? There's a lot of them. There's definitely a lot of clubs out here. But they, I don't know. I guess they're just trying to make it keep something to do. I don't know. You know what I mean? Like, with the, the, we got everything with the Grammy Street. You know, we got the casino. We got clubs in Portsmouth, clubs in Newport News, Chesapeake. It's a lot of clubs. You got the point. Yeah. So is it like a a big opportunity for you, though, because we have so many? To perform? Yeah. Or to, to play perform, your music and stuff like that? To perform and play your music, yeah. You mm-hmm. look at it that way, yeah, of course. So you've done a lot of shows in here, like in yeah, the I've, city? I've done um, quite a few shows on, in 757. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Now, pros and cons. Uh, from your experience only. Yeah. Um, what I can say is... Uh, pros and cons about like from the certain events that you've been to the reason why I ask this is because some people might say oh yeah I'll get to an event and it's unorganized or yeah. I'll get to an event and it starts late or I get to an event and there's a whole lot of crowds but when I perform the crowds start to leave you know what I'm saying right. I, I say that because I sometimes I deal with a lot of I don't call them local. I call them underground artists. Yeah. And they go to these places like Buco's. And yeah. um, they pass the ox and stuff like that. And, you know, everybody's going to show love to the people that they, they fuck with. Mm-hmm. And then exactly. afterwards, they dip off, they which dip I off. hate right. personally. Right. I mean, if you say the event is from 7 to 12, then whenever I get there, it might be 7 or 8. But from 8 to 12, 12. I'm, in, I'm right. in there. I want right. to see everybody. Mm-hmm. But it seems that sometimes when an artist puts a flyer out and be like, I'm going to be right here. He just grabs his people and for them to it, see yeah. their performance and they dip. Mm-hmm. So as an artist that performs in the city, like, do you have any pros or cons or things you would yeah, fix? It's, I would say the, the pros, if I had to think of pros and cons, the pros, about, only pro for real is being able to just go right home compared to traveling and have to stay at the hotel and all that and then travel back home a long distance. And the cons... I mean, they show more, it seems like they show more love out of town. You know what I mean? Like, they're going to stay and watch the show. You know what I mean? It seems like they ain't going to just watch their person that they came to watch and dip off. Like, they really there to see all the up-and-coming talent or independent artists or whatever that's going on. You know what I mean? I think it's like a fresh face yeah. feeling. Like, uh-huh. it's somebody new, like... Damn, we didn't hear, we didn't hear Lil Reek Reek. We didn't right. hear Lil, Lil Mob and all them. Mm-hmm. We didn't watch them grow up. But, okay, new cat coming in. Who's you? Right. Like, you got a different slang. You got a different body posture. Right. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Different aura coming into the building. So I know people look at it different. Right. So that's where I kind of see it at. Mm-hmm. But I'm glad you came today because uh, me and my homie, we've always... And I can't, I can't shun the fact, you know, because I, I talk shit about it, and I did, you know, what I'm saying when it comes to names, mm-hmm. and I, you know, I tell, cause, cause can't have you sitting here right here, and then you be like, bro, well, why you say that in other videos? The bigs, I used to say I hate the bigs, the littles, the the kids, the, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So, and you're the first one with that title. Could you kind of explain your your name origin? Um, really. One of my closest friends gave me my name coming up. You know what I mean? It was just one just one day I was doing something. I think I lifted a girl up on the side of the building or something like that. And he was like, Big A. And then from that point on, he was calling me like Big A. You know what I mean? Oh, you Big A now. You know what I'm saying? And it stuck. Everybody else just started calling me that. I didn't give myself that name. You know what I mean? You was, you was terminating? Or something? No, you was terminating no. It shit? was just I was playing with somebody <laughs> one day, and you know what I mean? Just did some big shit, and he was just it just it caught from there. Okay. You know, and he just kept calling me Big A. Uh, so, big A, Big A, Big A. So everybody has an acronym when they use, like, one or two letters. Like, for me, Ed uh-huh. is my first and my middle name. Right. 
but for you, Big A, is that your first name? Yeah, that's my okay, first okay. name. Okay, cool, uh, cool, 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 cool. I got you right there. Now, the 2900 part. Yeah. I used to just go by Big A, but mm. I noticed when I was typing it in, looking myself up, so many other Big A's would pop up. So I was like, I got to add something to it for me to stand out. To so separate the, yourself. The 2900, that's where I'm from. That's the block I'm from. 2900 block of Watson Street. Okay. You know? Yeah, I'm all him. Yeah. You know what I'm saying, ladies and gentlemen? And I know y'all going to see this and you be like, oh, yeah, I can fake. No, 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 no. I just needed an explanation because, like I said, you're the first artist with Big. I'm waiting for my littles. I haven't got a little yeah. yet. But that's a dope explanation. Okay, right. 2900 from where you from and it's your first name. Cool. Got it. Mm-hmm. That's that's cool. Con collective. <laughs> You'd be surprised, bro. Like, right. because... Me personally, bro, when I see an artist and it's just like little this, little that, little that, little that, I, you kind of get bigs every now and then, like Big X the plug or yeah. Big Big Wop or some shit like that, but it don't happen. But I got tired of it because mm-hmm. like what separates you from the next? Next, yeah. You know, now it might not be, it might be some artists out here where I can't even pronounce their name, but at least it's something different. Different, right? You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And that's I, that's why I, I crave into artists like what's different right if i if i turn your music if i go to your spotify right now what's different from you to the next artist right. and so that's the next question right there for real for real what separates you from every other artist um no i think my story my story got a lot to do with it you know um uh, I don't know. I just, I, I sound different to everybody. You mm. know, got a different look, you know. I'm just different. Mm. Okay, then. <laughs> I'm going to take what you said, because I'm going to open you up, man. Because you, you know right. what, you, another person that you remind me of that we had on the show, shout out to CMG Trap. He was the same way. Very secluded. Mm-hmm. Very, I ain't going to give you the information until you pull it. I'm going to pull him. After this, you can be like, damn, that nigga Ed wouldn't let go. Like, this motherfucker, he just asked me everything. Yeah, I'm, I'm about to get in that ass. So, story. You keep saying my story's different. What? And uh, and I'm trying to get to know you a little bit more. Mm-hmm. So, what do you mean by your story's different? Because I know before the show, you said that you had sickle cells. Mm-hmm. And that was part of the EPK that you sent me. Right. Okay. So, how is life dealing with that? Um... Very different, man. It's, you know, you got to stay on top of your medication. You know what I mean? You got to take medicine for it. You know, um, if it flare up on you, you got to go to the hospital. You got to be hospitalized sometimes for it. You know, ER visits. You know what I mean? got to go to the doctor, you know. Uh, Mm. Stay on top of your doctor visits and stuff like that. Um, It's it's hard dealing with it, but I, I get through it. You know what I mean? So, I mean, because the only artist that I know that I can, I mean, I don't know her personally, but I mm-hmm. can speak on the situation, is T-Boz. Yeah. From TLC. TLC. You know, we got to see her story of dealing with it. And, Do your, and then we were talking about demographics and you like the, the, the fan base that you try to pursue. Mm-hmm. Do you have some music to kind of be like, hey, look, I got it. And if I can do it and I can make it work, you can do right. it too? Yeah. Because I, I look up to thing I look up to artists that do things like that. Like um for example, my guy had him in the building uh once before were uh gifted hands. Mm-hmm. And you know, he, he gave us the background story, which in the, a lot of people don't realize the man tall as hell. Yeah. He like yo height. For real. And man? I'm a short dude. Like so when he walked in the building, I'm just like, Man, bro, on the camera you look small, but he mm-hmm. he's taller than me. But it's wild. But um but yeah, I like artists that have something different from everybody else. Now, it might not be a good or a bad, but right. you know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, if you look at it as a business, business-wise, cool, I can market to people just like me mm-hmm. and get that market, yep. you know? But I, I like that uh, you, you didn't never gave up on yourself or right. never gave up on a situation like I'm going to keep right. doing me, you know? Yep. It's a very positive thing. Um, another thing about your story that I got to put the question mark on. Mm-hmm. I had a couple artists. Again, I keep doing reference checks. Incarceration. Mm-hmm. 
Now, I don't want to know the details. All right. But during that experience, did you feel like there was a lot to talk about? Did you did you have do you have songs out for that type of situation? Yeah. When I came home, I dropped um a few songs about the situation. Now you're not like everybody else and be like, yeah, I just got out. Cause I didn't had that, and it was just like, damn, man, you, you no. sure you want to do this interview right now? Go see your family. <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> you right. know what I'm saying? You said, well, did I just get out? And yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no okay. I don't want that quick. No. Yeah, because I feel like sometimes artists that go in, mm-hmm. like they're like when they're out, their they, their music is just like, ah, uh, you know, I did this, I did that, right. da 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 da, hype shit. But then when they get out. And they can't see the rest of the world and they can't be a part of it. That's when they start to reevaluate themselves. That's when they start to really get in tune with who they are as an individual. Did you have yeah. some like a moment like that? Yeah, I was able to, um, my bad. I was able to, uh, I don't know, I guess sit down and think and have time to myself, you know, mm-hmm. compared to running the streets, you know what I mean? To, um, to figure out what the hell my problem was and why I was there, because I shouldn't have been there. Mm. But um, yeah, I had time to time to myself, you know. I was able to. I don't know. Try to um. I was in there writing and stuff, you know. Okay, because the, you know. The reason why I ask that is because as long as you got something out of it, like you you won out of it, right? Because a lot of people do it. Like I see people nowadays, like uh, what's and it kind of it kind of hurt my feelings a little bit. It made me feel some type of way, like he was my brother, like uh, young young Moody Marty Muddy. I guess it's like Young Thug's brother or whatever like that. Mm-hmm. And then he was looking, you know, he made this big ass post and he was talking about well, uh, YSL Woody. How Woody, you know, went mm-hmm. in the chorus, kind of played stupid, right. kind of played that jackass role, mm-hmm. and somehow got out of it, and really ain't really helping Young Thug right. with his case. This man just doing twenty v ones and right. dumbass interviews, and it's just like, yo, I thought we was good. I thought we was brothers. Like, you know what I'm saying? Right. It, it, it's, it's just weird out here a little bit. Um, a little bit more back to your backstory though. Um. Are you independent or are you signed yet? Um, you can say independent. I would still say independent, but I, I have a, a label behind me. It's just no, you know, I'm, I'm working with Biggs and we got a team. I got like a, like a uh, AR deal, artist, I'm an AD deal, artist development through Prime. Mm. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. And not 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 saying anything bad about what you got going on right now, right. but I say thank you is because I feel like artist development is a big part right. of pushing forward, and a lot of a lot of artists out here need it. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Can can you run run and run a couple laps and sing your song? Right. Can you get on stage and really give a performance instead just of just like that, jumping though. upside and down? Yeah. You know? Yeah, it's just like that. You know. So, but let's say. Let's say music goes off tomorrow. You mm-hmm. wake up in the morning, somebody finds your music, and they're just like, hey, bro, you the next big thing. Let's make it happen. You well, going to sign that deal, or you going to stay independent? If it can catapult me to that level that you know I'm looking for, if it really can do something for my career, mm-hmm. uh, I would be interested in signing. It depends on what type of deal it is, though. What's your version mm-hmm. of a perfect deal? Uh, like... Let's say this is your world. Right. You the captain of the ship. Mm-hmm. You can write anything you want. All my masters, of course. I want all, all my masters. Um. As far as I ain't even gotta have a whole bunch of money up front and all that, cause you gotta pay it back, you know. Mm. So. And I posted about that a couple of days ago, and like say they give you two hundred and fifty thousand. And it's a loan, obviously. Mm-hmm. At this point in time, 2024, we all know that if a label signs you, it's a loan. Right. Um, most artists make their money based off of uh, touring 
or doing shows. Exactly. But and the initial is just like, okay, cool. Uh, I got this money. The, the initial money that I get, I got time for recording. I got time for a couple of videos, little promo radio run, and, 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 and you know what I'm saying, traveling, transportation, and shit right. like that. But I wonder if artists are really thinking. Like, I'll post it. Mm-hmm. But I don't think the artists that have been on the show or I fuck with actually pay attention. Right. Because they're still chasing it. Mm-hmm. But I'm just like, when you got guys like on in the L.A. side, like Lil Russell, yeah. that's literally showing everybody the blueprint, are you keeping up with it? Right. Like, cool, you can get that money, but you can also build a team in your own. Oh, uh-huh. And everybody can do something. And, okay, you break bread with them. Right. You get $500, $50 to them, da 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 I'm like, and I know you just said that you have a label team behind you, but do yeah. you have your own team? Yeah, I do. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I have my own label. Treating them well, right? Yeah. All right then. All right yeah. then. But I, I haven't even really have no artists that I'm working on right now. Mm. Yeah, I ain't signed no artists yet mm. because I was so I'm still kind of getting my you know I don't want to sign nobody and I'm still focusing on myself and that ain't you don't want to have the Lil yet. Wayne and Drake effect, right? You exactly. know what I'm saying? So. Once I get, you know, myself settled the way I want to be, you know, I can start trying to find others to help, you know what I mean? To push and shit like that. Now, oh, excuse me. Look, I will promote this, though, because I'm trying to get some sponsorships. Mm -hmm. Everybody, drink Voodoo Ranger. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to get paid at the end of the day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I did it with with Four Loco, and I was getting T-shirts and hats, but Uh when it came to the money, they weren't trying to pay a nigga. And I was just like, bro, I'm... Come on, G. I'm right. promoting y'all. I don't know people don't drink for a little bit no more. But anyways, this is something new. But yeah. Like right now, what is your end goal? Like you told me in the beginning, if everybody watched, you told me in the beginning where you found your passion and where, mm-hmm. where it led to. But what is the end goal? To start making profit from it. You know? So it ain't a dream no more. It's a career. It's 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 a career now, but you know, like I gotta start making this money back that I spent. So my end goal is to be up a whole lot of money. You know. And Hold on, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> I'm gonna ask him the question one more time again. If he don't get it right this time, we're gonna have a part two. What is your end goal? You know, where I, where I want to be, right? That's what you're where, asking, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because well, you're telling me what you want out of it, mm-hmm. right? And everybody want bread out of it. Because right. if I ain't, you know what I'm saying? Course, some people right. have like a, like, I will say some people have like a deep, deep rooted passion for it mm-hmm. where, where they would do this even if they didn't get paid for it. Right. But then you have others that's just like, yeah, I want the bread. I want the bread. I want the, I want the bread. But. Okay, let's say you, like I said, you wake up in the morning and, and people are blowing right. your blowing right. your shit up. You look at your bank account, you're just like, God damn, now right. I, I'm sitting on two mil. Now what? Right. Well, another thing I wanted to do, too, if I was up like that, what I would do, because I, I want to invest in other things, too, you know, not just the music. Um, I would make it, I want to, like, uh, see what I have to do to get, like, different little ERs. Or like hospitals just for sickle cell patients, you know what I'm saying? So they can skip the line. You know they don't have to go there to we the. Go. Now we pulling it out of them, ladies. Don't and have, they don't have to go to the regular ER and have to wait 12, 13 hours sometimes. If they make you wait, you could just go straight there. And if you have to be a minute, then they will ship you to the hospital. But I want to have those all across the seven five seven. You know what I mean? Mm. That's something that I dream of having. You know, to be able to do that. Is that something, because with that because dream, of, of, yeah, is that something yeah. that you had to deal with right. growing up with yeah, it? Yeah, right, yeah. Mm. yeah. Mm-hmm. I ask that because I have a bunch of people in here all the time, and now you're part of the No Limit family, so I'm right. just like, I want to know y'all's dreams and aspirations. That way, now that we've done this interview, now that we we, we working together, everything mm-hmm. you post, boom, I'm putting it on there. Now that we're on there, I want to make sure that, okay, you gave me a goal. Right. And I could be on your ass. Right. Like I do everybody else. Hey, bro, mm-hmm. you said you was going to do this in about three, four, five months. Uh-huh. What's up with it? Right. Man, I, I just, I just, uh, I, I don't know. Nah. 
you got the blueprint. You told me the blueprint. Right. You ain't following your own blueprint. Mm-hmm. Life, I know life happens. Right. I know life changes. Stick to the foundation. Right. Work towards it. So that's what I would love to see mm-hmm. in the next couple years from you. Like, okay, look, my guy Big A 2900 did it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He stamped on it. Mm-hmm. You know? If you can create um, a perfect album mm. with anybody you would want to work with, Producer wise? No, man. I mean, no offense to producers and engineers. Like, you know what I mean? If you got like DJ Mustard or, or Khaled or, or or what's the other dude? What the other light skin brother name with the long head? Mm-hmm. Kind of look like Bernie. What's his name? Mm, I'm going to get roasted on IG for this one. Drama. Okay. Oh, shit. I said his name. Fuck. Yeah, bro. You look like Bernie. I'm sorry, bro. <laughs> you look like Bernie from Sesame Street. I'm sorry. Anyway, perfect, perfect album. So features and yeah, features. Yeah. My bad, features. Mm. I have Tupac up there, Biggie up there. It could be alive and dead, right? Yeah, alive and dead. I have I mean, Nip I up there, resurrect them, but yeah, yeah. Oh, this is my perfect album. <laughs> yeah, yeah, perfect album. My bad, my bad, my bad. Um, stack bundles. Jim Jones, Fifty. I will at least have all of them as a feature because they're my favorite artists, man. So, Jim Jones is a wild card. Yeah, man. That's that's one of my favorite though. I, Jim I Jones young. is a wild, and it's no offense to Jim Jones, um, but Jim Jones is a wild card. I've never heard somebody on the show say, say, say like Jim, Jim Jones. Jones. Yeah, Jim Jones is my dog. That's crazy. Now I gotta ask you, what what about Jim Jones? Was like, yeah, I I fucks with this dude. No. Because I don't know Jim Jones to me Now nah, just to me I just got a bad representation from Jim Jones Oh no I just it like be- his music I just Cause he went on like Cause he, he wasn't even a rapper at first You know what I mean He became a rapper Yeah but and, see- and I don't know Just to see him grow like he did I, You know Then he He was swagged out like he was I don't know I, I just like it- him Growing okay. up, you know, especially that was high school for me. So that that is true. I'm just saying, Jim Jones gave the bad taste in my mouth because I've seen him on uh, loving hip loving hip hop. Yeah, and it's just like, yeah, that was to I have thinking. a shorty like Chrissy, right? And like she make sure you on point mm-hmm. at all times, and then you just you're fumbling it, and she's yeah. still you fumbled you fumbled the bag. You fumble her, and she's still like, well, here you go. Yeah. Well, here you go. And it's just like, nigga, wake up. That's why I can't be personally, yeah, your raps is good. I like your raps and shit, but it's just like, as a person, it's just like, bro, yeah. you could yeah. really do something and really win. Like, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And you, you're just dropping the ball. It just, I don't know, shit like that bother me, you know? Right. Um. Speaking of that, though, okay, so we got your perfect album. Perfect album. And I you, have a I have a um a song with Trey songs too. Stop playing with me, man. You know you, got, you got a song with Trey? No, I said I will. Oh, 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 have oh, a song oh, up there. Oh, oh okay. My perfect album. Even because that's one of my favorite artists too, R&B artists. Really? Mm-hmm. Be honest with me, really? No, for real. How how good are you in the entertainment world? What do you mean? Like information wise. Oh, I know. I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. hey, look, that, on, hey, look. On, man. Like, I'm just saying, I, ain't, I'm just not out here giving. I'm not giving nah, females golden dude. showers. But, anyways, but it's just one of those things. Like Trey, I feel like Trey had such a big come up. Like, I miss the old Trey when he yeah. had them fucked up uh, cornrow braids, mm-hmm. and he was like, ah, and you see his bottom jaw, like you know, jiggling yeah. and shit. Like that was okay, Trey. But when that money got into him, and he was like, "Oh yeah, I'm Trey Songs now." Yeah, that's when it was just like, "Oh, you you on some weird shit? Like you mm-hmm. you was a weird motherfucker, boy." But I don't know. I don't wish nothing bad on anybody. But I feel like in the next ten to fifteen years, he's gonna he's gonna get that R. Kelly treatment. Damn. I feel like it's gonna happen, bro. Like, have, on. no, I'm not wishing it on him. But have you ever seen those like allegations and shit like that? Yeah. He be having, and then it gets like. 
48 hours of press and then they get swept under the rug. The same thing that happened to Kelly. Kelly got the 48 hours, swept on the rug, swept on the rug, even Diddy mm-hmm. swept on the rug and then boom. And everybody was like, oh my gosh. And it was just like, bro, we, we've yeah. seen it already. You know what I'm saying? But um, speaking of that, how would you avoid those type of situations? Because no, have you ever like thought out those processes when you're have that big name and and things are thrown at you and right and you're in the heat of the moment like you know what I'm saying I and I do this I do this again to see what people hear that I know who I am you yeah. know I shit I tell them all the time yeah I'm a fuck up not not necessarily like deliberately right. but when you ain't had nothing like that you know yeah it be there. Don't go quiet on me now. Don't look at me like that. (laughs) That's crazy, though, because like you say, when you ain't having a snap of your finger or, you know what I'm saying? That's Mm kind of hard to just shun away from. So, yeah, I just hope, pray to God, I never run into those type of problems. You know what I'm saying? I always told my BM, I was like, yo, I'm saying when everything go big, no living podcast is like. Bigger than no jump of big, like, right. just big platform. I was like, yeah, I'm going to be like a Kevin Gates. I'm just going to be kicking bitches. <laughs> <laughs> like, boom, get away from me. I'm married. Right. <laughs> like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? But, yeah, the industry is just, it's just willy wonky right now, man. Yeah. It, it, it kind of scares me a little bit, especially because the black culture is just like, what do we have next? Are we losing the story? Are we losing the impact that we had on the streets? Because now... We used to get those stories of, oh, yeah, you got to be on the block 24 hours. Mm-hmm. You got to do this. You got to worry about your ops. And it's like at this point, everybody got ops. You know what I'm saying? Real. Everybody got problems. Everybody didn't had the no lights cut on experience or mm-hmm. no running water. Like, okay, cool. What separates you from me? Like, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I go through the same thing. Like, okay, I, I mean, I understand where you're coming from. Right. Maybe we can relate, but now you in mansions, I'm still no water, no food yeah. in the refrigerator type shit. Like, do you feel like the, the I can't even call it hip hop, rap, I would say rap entertainment game. Do you feel mm-hmm. like it's coming to an end? Especially when you got this, the sexy reds and the, uh, who's another one? I seen this other chick the other day. She was kind of, she was just bothering me. Skinny black chick. She was doing a video on her. I don't even remember her. I don't even know her name, but she did the video and she's in the courthouse and she's just like, yeah, she, she's like, she was talking about dick, the whole video, mm-hmm. like just mm-hmm. dick. That's it. I may have seen it, but I don't know who, but it, it gets to the point where it's just like when you're dragging it out, mm-hmm. like, like female rap and male rap, you just, just situations or stories are just dragged out. Right. Do you think that's a problem or? You think it's going to fix itself? Yeah, I just think it's the new generation of music. You know what I'm saying? Like, the music just changed a lot from the 90s, the early 2000s, and to now. The yeah. internet came. You know what I mean? So, whatever the internet did to shift the music like it did, it did. Mm. So, the OGs, so uh-huh. should they be able to stop that? Should they say, hey, look, we ain't dealing with it no more? Or are we going to just have it's to deal with another four though, years? Because people listen to it. You know what I mean? Like the sexy reds. The people listen to it. You know? Yeah. So they they reaping the benefits off, off of it. I think I'm just going to go listen to classical music. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Have you ever thought about that, well, though? Well, it might change. It might change back somehow, you know? Somebody come out with the right shit and it's hot. Mm. Have you ever thought about it? What's that? Like switching different genres? Not like as a whole, but like, could you see like, yourself doing like an R&B or a pop song or something like that? Or even with a feature with an artist? I know you said Trey Songs and he's an R&B artist, mm-hmm. but could you see yourself doing it? Because I think we're going to play that song next, but you do have a song where I thought you were singing I'm on it. I'm singing on it. Uh, um, I, um, are you asking am I... Going, do I have songs while I'm singing on it? No, 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 no. What I'm saying yeah. is, could you could you see yourself doing like a country song or oh, a rock a song, song or something? Song. You know what I'm saying? Ooh. Like getting out of the the, the hip hop genre. I never thought about that. 
don't know. Well, I want you to think on it. Country or rock? Because I'm a, I, 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 I say heard some cool uh, rock, like people rapping on. Uh, okay, like rock. For rock example, beat. like, could you see yourself doing something like Jay Z did with like, Lincoln Park? I'm about to say, yeah. If somebody came to me and really had a song that they would want to do and want me on, yeah. Mm. Yeah, I jump on a rock rock song. Yeah, hell yeah. Now, which which song was that, brother? Do man? it, girl. Do it, girl. I right, look. I had it right here. I'm excited. Do it, girl, by Big A Twenty Nine Hundred. Ladies and gentlemen, do you hear it? I thought it was him. Drop with your BM. They can't see him. A lot of niggas wanna be him. Diamonds pop when I talk. Make a bitch freeze up. Cool like a freeze cup. Drop the top and feel the breeze, love. Nail it to the bed. Make a scream. Ooh, Jesus. Hold down. She's up. So please, y'all bitches ease up. She aggressive when she fucks. So the quicker I bust. You better do it. You better do it. Make up in your head. trust there's nothing you can say so there's really no fuss i fuck her from the front to the back of the bus told her better stop she didn't suck till i bust you better do it you better do it make up in your head you better do it you better do it you better do it down to your nails I ain't gonna lie, say I seen a minute left, and I was like, okay, what, what, what's coming? Nah, 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 nah. Now, to me, listen to the song. Obviously, I heard, heard the lyrics, but I gotta ask you: is is it a stripper anthem? Or, a stripper well, anthem? It, yeah, because I mean, you said BBL. I know. You know what I'm saying you, you put a lot of BBLs in there, so that was on the hook. Yeah. If you, even if you got the BBL, even natural, natural. Mm. Got the BBL, hair, hair in your nails. You just about to do it. Nah, you gonna have to break that down a little bit more. Where was your head at when you made this song? You about to do it. Um, just another day in the studio, and a beat was played, and that's the. I just got to saying that over and over again, you know. And came up with the hook. You about to do it, girl. You about to do it. Because of how the beat sounds to me, you know what I mean? It was like an R&B type of... And, and see, that's what I was going to ask you next. Because you said that with the first song. um, Like, when you go into the studio, are you a writer? Yeah. or you? Just yeah, I'm a... a writer. I'm a writer also, but it just so happened that the songs that you had asked me about, they weren't written beforehand. You see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. They were made in the studio. So usually yeah. you let the beat talk to you. Yeah. Yeah, it I, creates that story I, for you, right? And I go home and write to it, or you know, I sit there and write to it. I can write right there on the spot, but I like to really, if it's especially if I'm know I'm putting it on the project or something. You know what I'm saying? It's different when you just in the stew making music for mixtape or whatever the case may be. 
Mm-hmm. How's that? How's that process usually? You know, usually for you, like when you create a song, is it like something that you you can get done in that session, or is it something that I might have to sit on it for a little while and do it? Some, um, a lot of times I tr- I'm trying to knock them out, but if I feel like I want to come back and what's the word I'm looking for, like perfect it, I probably just lay it down. Mm. And then go back and listen to it. You know what I mean? So when I go back and do it, I know the song by heart. Mm. So I can perfect it the way I want. Try to learn the song by heart. I still have to look at the lyrics, though, most of the time. But, yeah, some songs that I go back and, and do, and some certain songs I'm knocking out in the stew as I'm, as I'm going, as the day goes along. And I should have asked you that in the beginning when you were talking about doing a tour at 23. Was that difficult for you? Yeah. To like I mean, remember it, your lyrics and stuff like that? To a certain degree, yeah. I mean, especially when we had the shows where we had the um the music wasn't playing, it was just certain words that was punched in and we had to memorize the words. That was a little tough, you know. Oh yeah. no for a fact. I yeah. do know and that it, that is like one of the scariest moments. Is being on stage, right? And like, let's say a DJ's equipment, it just mm-hmm. drops, and then you looking at the crowd, the crowd looking at you. Yep. Like, have you had one of those moments before? Yep. Ooh. I've had. I've I've got up there and kind of slipped up before. Um, I was designer had came down here, and I had just did the song with Young Money Young. Um, you talking about like Panda, Panda, Panda? Yeah, oh, okay. that dude. He came down here and did the show, and um, Yon was on the on the joint on the show, and he was like, "Come, come do the song." He had just did it, so um, somehow his uh, phone had got had died. So I don't know what didn't make him uh, ask me like, "Yo, I need that song," or he sent the DJ the song, but he was like, uh, "Can you do a freestyle?" And I was like. Yeah, I got you. You know what I'm saying? Because I just wanted to get out there for real. Mm. And uh, because he was like, my phone died or whatever. I was like, man, I can get you the song. But this was after the point. So he told me to come on the stage. And I started freestyling. And I slipped up. Like, I fumbled up on a couple words. You know what I mean? And I kind of got back, you know, got got my shit back together. It wasn't like complete just trash but i kind of slipped up a little bit right 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 and um when i left the stage i was like damn what, what happened to the song you know we're gonna do the song and uh he actually went back up there and we and we did the song real that's nigga, respect man. yeah that's respect. Real, real dude so we uh went back up there and did the song it's called ball featuring your money on it's on all platform y'all yeah. heard it ladies and gentlemen y'all go listen okay uh, then so you're a freestylist no. No, 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 I'm not. Da, 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 da. So if I play the beat right now, you can freestyle on it? I mean. <laughs> hey, bro. I'm not hey. a freestylist. I'm not, I'm not really like a free, like, you I, know what I mean? I put it like this. I didn't had. I'm going to speak about it. I, I told myself I wasn't going to speak on it, but I got to. Mm-hmm. I had God's gamble up here. Probably about two weeks ago. Mm-hmm. Well, now about a week and a half ago. Anyways, had him on here, and he's he didn't say what you said, but he was like, "Oh yeah, I'm a singer." Uh huh. And I, I've you know I did choir all my life, you know. And you put him so on I, the spot. I put his ass on the spot, and how can I say this? Because it's on camera. Because it's not disrespectful. Like I seen that he had potential with it, uh-huh. but it's just like sometimes. When I hear people say something, I'm, I want to pull that card. Yeah. Okay, yeah. You say you can do it. I want to see you do it. Right. But I respect that. You say, eh, yeah, it depends. Right. I respect that. But when it comes to situations like that, I'm, yeah, yeah, I'm going to pull your card. I want to I yeah. see you do it. I think he asked me to do a freestyle just to I'm still get you out there. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? Even though I fucked up on my behalf, I'm still trying to get you some type of stage time. But I don't want to freestyle type. Let me you ask you this. What, what has been your worst experience? As an artist, my worst experience as an artist. He's going down, down through the archives, yeah, ladies and gentlemen. He ain't trying to, to expose none of y'all. 
trying to see what, what. I haven't really had no. Because I, I've I've no, been around. Uh, like terrible experience doing nothing. I'm trying to think. Like, have I had. Other than what I told you about the messing up on stage with the yarn. The uh-huh. yarn yarn joint. That's about it. I haven't really had no, like. Oh my God, that was a, such an embarrassing moment or nothing yeah, like that. Because I've had artists, I, I've like, that's why I try to stay in the house mm-hmm. nowadays. But I've had artists be like, "Bro, come on, Ed, come do this, 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 and this." I go to the event, you know, show my face. All right. Shit might not go their way, and mm-hmm. they just like, man, they we get in the car, we go outside. That's some bullshit. Right. And this happened, and and the songs messed up. Why? I bring. I want to bring it to attention because maybe somebody might see this video and try to avoid that situation. Right. So maybe a better question for you now would be, what's one thing you would fix in your musical career? One thing I would fix. Oh. One thing I would fix. You got some good questions, man. That's a real good question. And and by all means, this is like I said, you part of the No Limit family, so yeah, I'm you don't necessarily. Get, but I'm trying to get you good. I don't just want to blurt it out. Like <laughs> that. Just, what the hell you say? I, I want to think about what I'm about to say. Maybe um, I got to work on giving a little bit more energy when I perform. You know what I'm saying? Because sometimes I be a lot chill. Like you say, I was a. You know, kind of chill. I told you that when you know we first started right. the show. You so, seem like a chilled ass dude. A lot of people say, man, like, get your energy up, get your energy up. So maybe try to get my energy up a little bit wise, performing wise, and stuff like that. Mm. I would say. Then that's just off of um, feedback, you know, also. Did you have hype songs? Like, do you have, do you have a track tonight? That you sent me, because you sent me a lot, and I respect mm-hmm. that. I usually tell people send me three to five, and you sent me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you right, sent me right. a lot, and I ain't gonna tell you how much he sent me, but he <laughs> sent me a lot. But you know what I'm saying? Do you have a track right now that we could listen to to be like, okay, he's in his element, and we can hear it through your tone that you were feeling, you were feeling the vibe. Uh, let me see. Let me see. I'm trying to remember what I sent you. I don't know, maybe on the floor again or something like that. I think I sent you that track on the on floor, the floor again. again, ladies and gentlemen. We're gonna, um, on the floor again. Yeah, we're going to look it up right now. And in the meantime, while I'm looking for on the floor again, actually, never mind. Oh, it might be called Starter Kit right there, yeah. Is it right here? Yeah, it's called on the floor again, but that's what I put in when I first did it. Okay. I have a name for it. All right, well, ladies and gentlemen, we about to listen to Big A twenty nine hundred on the floor again. Uh, Start a kid, one of the two. We gonna figure it out, but I want to hear it because I'm gonna hear hype song. Get you in your element. Hey, Ozanio spins his own. Let's go. Just count my left pocket, bitch, oh, nigga, yeah. it's another team. You don't even speak this type of language of a car, man. Call me DJ Cali, pussy nigga. All I do is win Hawaii on them Zans, pussy nigga. I don't remember shit. Ten bands when I talk, she mesmerized. I had to take her twin. I gotta take his chance. I might not never get this chance again. I'm ballin' from the city. At the room, I feel like Dorian. Going to see the next play. Goddamn, we on the floor again. Every time I cop a train, goddamn it, feel like it's a win. I don't know how to act, bitch, so hell no, nah, this ain't no pretend. Born in the sport, more hell no, nah, this ain't no starter kit. She asked what type of car this shit, she couldn't even pronounce the shit. Yeah. Hey, what up, nigga? Nah, we coming, nigga. Nah, we bumming, nigga. Yeah. Uh. 
Nigga, you ain't never running them bands. Uh, nigga, you ain't never write up no plan. Nah. Or the statement on your man to the stand. Got a switch that shit sounded like a fan. Uh, bro just hit me and he told me that it land. Uh, parent ran up in the trap, this ain't a band. Uh, to my hood over, then we started spanning. Uh, I'm a real trap rapper, fuck a grand. Uh, I ran on them bands, all these J's at the door. Got my light, where your manners, these bowls on the floor. I was 14, trapping on deuce and on bowls. Know this shit come through me long as I get the load. Yeah, I came from the dirt, watch this diamond unfold. Yeah, I'm rocking my chains and this diamonds and no. Caught that boy running home, tried to slide on my bro. Look at all these our bands, so it started with low. Look at all these our bands. Cause it started with lows. Two bad bitch in a hot car. She gon' eat it up like a kettlebell. Uh, push shot. Uh, nigga push screen like a good top. Good top. Trick going on, he gon' get fucked. Uh, nigga, I'm a hat in the bush. Uh, keep big bitch more push for the cushion. Man, these nigga be wish. Uh, these nigga push, these nigga be tish. Nigga, tell talk, they don't want no ish. She don't fuck with me, cause she know I'm a fish. Yeah. Bit up bad, yeah, loaded with bitch. Yeah. Nigga, I play, but you know that I'm stingy. Yeah. Nigga, turn up, got my tree fade yeah. itch. Nigga, I beat nigga, turn to a bitch. Pants when I talk, she Mesmerized, I had to take her twin. I gotta take his chance. I might not never get this chance again. I'm balling from the city at the room. I feel like Dorian. Going to see the next play. Goddamn, we on the floor again. But every time I cop a chain, goddamn, it feel like it's a win. I don't know how to act, bitch. So hell no, nah, this ain't no pretend. Born in the sport, more hell no, nah, this ain't no starter kit. She asked what type of car this shit. She couldn't even pronounce the shit. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, now we got some energy. Now we got some energy. Because that right there, it was some energy with that one. I closed my eyes for a little bit, and I was like, okay, I can see him in the booth just like, mm, mm, mm. You know what I'm saying? I felt it. Yeah, that, that, that. That, that, that was a different one. Not saying that I didn't like the other two. Right. Because I definitely did. I thought one was a stripper anthem. That's just my opinion. Uh -huh. And the other one, I was like, okay, you speaking on some things. Right. But this one right here, it was just like, that was your, yeah, I'm him yeah. moment. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. speak that shit. Now I'm trying to understand, like, where is it? Where the beast at? <laughs> because, bro, I know y'all see him right now. And I'm, I'm about to boost his head for a little bit. I know y'all see him right now. You know what I'm saying? He, he he got he got it on the grills in the mouth the chains on the watches on. You can't be chill with all the ice on, bro. You can't. <laughs> I I can't allow that to happen because I've been trying to pull it the whole show, and I'm just like, okay, he gonna buck after this question. He gonna he gonna he gonna he gonna show me something. At this point, I gotta know what's your zodiac sign. That 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 might help me a little I'm bit. A Virgo. Oh fuck, damn. And I say that not as disrespectful. Um. Uh, I love all my Virgos. I and I know how y'all I, <laughs> I know how y'all Virgos get down. You know what I'm saying? My my son's a Virgo, his mm -hmm. mom's a Virgo. So I know. Yeah, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. I unfortunately, I wouldn't say unfortunately, but then I will. I've only dated Virgos. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So I, I know how they get down. Very right. nonchalant, read the room, quiet. They they reading everything, yep. you, you secluded. You wouldn't even know. Virgo is like if a, if I could describe a Virgo as a superhero, it'd be like Batman. Y'all yeah. niggas just be there, right? Just waiting for some shit to happen. Exactly, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Now 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 it see see how I break it down, ladies and gentlemen. It, it come out some way. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So before we go to the next song, mm -hmm. I want to ask you. Today is what? Let's see. I know I just paid rent, so it can't be that far. August 4th. Yep, yep, yep. What's the next day for you right now? So, you know, people might be able to... They drop this album, September 6th. September 6th. Oh, you yep. picked a Virgo month, too. Yeah. Hey, you, day, gotta, you got a problem. The day before my birthday. No, no that's, just how, that's just how it came out. Hold on, hold on, hold on. The album come out the day hold before on, no, my no, birthday. No, 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 no. You said the day before your birthday? Yeah. Your birthday September 7th? Yep. Bro, that's my BM birthday on God, on my mama. My son, <laughs> my son is September thirteenth. Hers is September seventh. That is wow. crazy. Yeah. I had a hit pause yeah. moment right there. That's, that's crazy. My birthday, yeah. Wow. Yes. So we got an album dropping on the sixth. On the sixth, yeah. Are we doing a promotional run? Yep. In the middle of that now. We we doing a promotional run, huh? Mm-hmm. So home. so now I'm about to pull your card real quick. You ain't send me nothing. Hmm? You ain't send me nothing. Send you what? No, you ain't send me nothing to put on the store. 
So I can share oh, it my out. Fault, my fault. I got er my, everything my coming, fault, man. My, we... No, no, no. Hell no. I, no I, see. <laughs> I got you. I, got I, you. I told, didn't I tell him, ladies and gentlemen? I told him, this is how we do in the No Limit Podcast. Yeah, right, you right. you supposed to send it I and we you. spinning it. You know what I'm saying? I took that from Sober to DJ. I shouldn't have done that. But, anyways, yeah, you supposed to send it. Got you. Got you. You know what I'm saying? So through? the whole world can see. Yeah, it. the whole world can see. It. What is this album going to be like? How is this album going to be different for everybody? I know you said, you know, it's different stories and stuff like uh-huh. that. Like, but you're putting it out in September. We we coming out of the summer. Right. We're going towards the fall. Mm-hmm. So who is it speaking to? Um It's mixed. It's it's I'm speaking to women and men on this album. It, well, that's pause, hold on. Um, I got songs for women and I got songs for my fellas. You okay. Know what I'm saying? Cause you know the fall and winter months. First and foremost, shout out to the fat niggas. Cause you know we 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 up. We lasted three months in the fat season. You know, right. in the summer season we were sweating. So now we when we in the fall season, that's fall winter season. We in the cuddle season. Yeah, we in the lovey dovey, laid mm-hmm. up. Might get pregnant in the you know what I'm saying, and then in yeah. the summer producing the baby. So that's why I'm asking. <laughs> right, right, like right. this album, you say it's for both of us. You know, women and women and men. Mm-hmm. You know, what I'm saying, is it like a go get an album? Like I could, I could wake up in the morning, and brush my teeth too, yeah. or is it something that yeah. I gotta go home and me and my girl we cooking, type type shit? Nah, it's 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 something you can get up, you can brush your teeth to it, get in your car. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you can come back home and there's some tracks up there that you can play while you're cooking. Okay, you know then. What I mean, it, it's it's a it's a versatile record. Okay, then. It's a mix. Okay, then. You know, then. I got some singing up there. I got some storytelling. I got some turned up. I got some, um, well, I want to say stunting records. You know what I'm saying? Maybe. I mean, I, bro, they going to see this video. They right. see what you got on. You got to have some, <laughs> some type of stunting something. Yeah, right. You know what I'm saying? Yep, so. It's, it's, it's um I feel like it's gonna grasp a lot of people's attention. You know what I mean? This one, mm. yeah, there's a lot of growth to it. If you especially if you've been following, you'll see the growth. You know, I, I'm I'm about to really dig deep and get my research because I love the artists. Like, I I don't want to do any comparisons. I hate mm-hmm. doing that. But also, I've had artists come in here and like they overwhelm my personality and mm. they shut me down a little bit. It's just like, damn, bro. Calm the fuck down, but I understand it. You and listen to your music. I'm just like, I gotta pull this shit out of it because it's there. Uh-huh. It, it it's there. And now I want to watch your other interviews because I want to see where it's at. And then you said it yourself. They said energy. So I want to I, I want to pull it out of you. I, I got I got at this point. Yeah, you gonna be my number one target for the next couple months. Be like, yo, bro, you do this, do this. Cause I gotta see it. So any shows lined up? Um. I'm trying to think of my next show. Do I got a show this month? No, I think uh, I, 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 I bought man. If you got people buying your tickets and you don't know when your show is, no, I don't have a show this month. I just had a show in Fredericksburg. I gotta uh, check my schedule though to make sure I don't. But um, we got some things coming up, you know. We got a lot of things coming up. I got a photo shoot tomorrow, some more shit for the album, and you know, so I'm I'm in the middle of doing the you know the rollout for the album, and I'm excited. You know what I mean? Yeah. I, I I'm excited. Album album rollouts are exciting, especially yeah. if you have fun with taking photos, doing pictures, right, and videos and stuff like mm-hmm. that. Blogs, yep. blog, blogs, vlogs, whatever you want to call it. Yep. Like you know what I'm saying. So you got everything coming. You know yeah. what I'm saying. I'm going to mm-hmm. check your page one more time after this because mm-hmm. I always get on artists about deleting shit. Yeah. I hate when artists delete shit or they just don't put it in their highlights like Instagram don't give it out to them. Right. Let people follow your progress, yeah. you know, type thing that irritates me because the artists be like, delete, 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 delete. Yeah. And I'm just like, you can't get it back. Like, you know what I'm saying? At least yeah. leave it for people that's new newcomers, you know right. what I'm saying? That's want to mm-hmm. see something. Um, what about merch? Yeah, I got to get my merch back going. Um, I had the Black and Motivated shirts. I had those going around for a, a minute. So that and was I, necessarily your brand, Black and Motivated? Yeah, Black and Motivated. Um, 
Well, that that was what I was going with on the shirts because um when I was like when I did the tour and stuff, I was rapping with my brother and we was BMG Black Motivated Gentleman. Mm. So I just kept that black and motivated that we had on the shirts. You know what I mean? And I mm. was so, but I'm gonna switch it up a little bit. Probably add some 2900 ENT since I got my own label and stuff now. Try to do it, you know, a little. Different. I can see that. Yeah. I you know what the crazy thing about it? I can see twenty nine hundred on like a back of like a fucking basketball jersey, mm-hmm. and then have the the big A twenty nine hundred on the back type shit. Mm-hmm. And that's just my idea. If I see yeah. you take it, I want my damn percent. But uh, yeah, I can see that. I can see that on some hats. I can see that. I can see that. Yeah. Some phone cases. Uh huh. Some re- yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. So. Oh yeah, I can definitely see that. So we got so when you came up with black and motivated and stuff mm-hmm. like that. What was the idea? Like, where 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 were you going for? I know it's in kind of in the same black and motivated. Yeah, but black. Well, just being black and motivated, and you know what I mean. It meant something. Um else before but i told bro i was like hey we can't market that you know what i mean mm. so we kind of switched it up a little bit and that's what we came out like black motive you know black motivated gentlemen you know just black and motivated you know what i mean and we gentlemen <laughs> you know how to hit the <laughs> hey bro hey we, we've all been there you know what i'm saying we've all been there yeah. but um yeah man I want to see your progress. I want to see your progress. That. And like I said, I'm going to do, a, now that this interview is coming to a, a end, we're going to play some more songs, mm-hmm. get some more questions out of those songs where you were at, okay. you know, mentally. But I think the interview portion for me is like, okay, now I really got to watch your interviews, your other interviews yeah. to see you where your head were, you know, where your head was, where your energy was like, Cause you're so chill yeah. and nonchalant. Uh huh. You, cause you, cause you sound like G Money, but you act like Currency. Yeah. Cause Currency is one of them too. Like he get an interview, he's like, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> Like I'm just I'll like be trying to be. I'll be trying to be. You know what I'm saying? A little bit more energized. I don't. I don't know, man. I just be chilling. But bro. it's it's a part of who you are who as I an am, artist. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And like I said, there's people out there that are like you. Right. You know what I'm saying? So they understand where he at. Like, okay, look, he got about 20 minutes before he be like, right, I can't do this no more. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. And I understand that. Um, but I want to see the correlation with your music because, like I said, the last three songs that we didn't played have been different right? in its own right to who you are as an artist. Right. And that last song, I was like, okay, that's a different part. That's a hype one. Yeah. So with this next song that we're about to play, ladies and gentlemen, um, matter of fact, go ahead. You 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 pick it out. You pick it out. I want another song that describes you. Now we had do it, girl. We had name the uh. My name is A. We had uh, on the floor again, aka starter kit that we working on the name. What what else we got? We got from the P to the D. Yeah, that's the next. You can play that one. That's the next single that we're going with off the um, album. Okay. Because from the P to the D. Detroit I, Pablo Skywalker from Detroit. Which is, let me, let, me, let me say this, though, before we put the song on. You said from the P to the D, right? Yeah. And I'm, I'm just I'm like. I'm from the P. He's he in the D. Yeah, but it's, it's, steady, it's cities in the D, too. You know what I'm saying? That's why I was looking at it when you said it earlier. And I was like. What, he's Detroit? From, yeah, is he from 8 miles, 7 miles? Oh, you're saying different sections. Yeah, See, yeah, I, don't, yeah, yeah. I just did just Detroit, you know what I'm saying? As I, a whole. I fuck he's from it. Detroit, right? I, I understand. I get it. I get it. I get it. What are you supposed to put from the P to 8 miles? Yeah, this is a gas, Jack. <laughs> I feel like y'all trying to rhyme. Bigger 20 bigger The Perkers in. Let me do my Perkers dance. Gotta meet the movie, call it some bad. I'm pushing pounds every day like a gym class. She's losing weight off the purse, call it some fast. She threw the A on, now she twerking ass. A lot of bands, a lot of pill bottles in the stash. She says she sleep good when I rub her ass. Nick, nine, the 
pistol, way she grab cock, I blast. She say you got a rubber, I say you in a mask. She ain't free, I charge a bitch for a dance. Give a bitch a walk of papers with a pair of pants. And if she ain't got cute feet, I don't take the chance. Leave a A for what you heard, a grandma what you see. Cause the shit niggas post ain't what they claim to be. A D in my shoes, you don't wanna quit. She wanna fail on the pimp, but she a blind bitch. Go down, baby girl, start sucking me. Bust the N U T and did the letter Z. She don't fuck with rappers, she ain't trusting me. Living without a point of proof is a luxury. Bitch, I don't trust the soul. Every time I leave the house, gotta touch the pole. Nigga, if you gettin' money, can you up the road? When I shot a bitch a hundred, make her lose control. Shit, my diamonds, they can tissue me, bro. Niggas mad, I'm on your bitch, and I be here, ho. Why them black gloves sound look like dominoes? Little niggas talking shit, they ain't got no flaws. Twelve hundred for these lads. Shit, the car is so fast, I might smack it. Boy, you pussy little nigga, they a jack. Lucky nigga, and them niggas ain't whack. All this money in my pants make a bitch choose. Right there, just because your last couple yeah, songs, that, that, you, you be having a little extra. <laughs> yeah, because them, them, these are songs is just um the unreleased joints that ain't mastered or none yet. Mm. You know what I mean, just straight from the studio to the email. Yeah, Detroit always have a different sound, especially with certain rappers. Yeah, because it's just like and I'll be like, okay, okay. And it's crazy. He was doing features that day, and um, I seen he had a big following, and um. I just went and picked the beat. And I was like, I'm going to rap on something that he would rap on. Mm. You know what I mean? And I just, that's what we came up with. I just wrote my verse and did my verse and sent it to him. And that's what he sent back. So you're kind of versatile when you deal with certain type of, yeah. of, of artists. Right. Like, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like some some artists nowadays, they wouldn't. Like LL Cool J, for example, he did an interview with Shannon Sharp. And he was like, Shannon asked him. Hey, would you ever clear this song for that person or let them do something like that? And it's like, eh, no, you know, what I'm I wouldn't do it. Or people won't give certain features to certain artists because they'd be like, yo, you just don't fit. Right. But you're one of those types that, I, fuck it, I like what you got going on. Yeah, let's do it. Let's, let's do it. Yeah. Because y'all definitely have two different flows. Definitely. And when you hear this song, ladies and gentlemen, you can actually hear the break between both of them. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So I like it, bro. I like it. You know what I'm saying? We just both going in on it. Yeah. This uh this interview gave me some insight. Mm-hmm. Some insight on, on a lot about you. I mean, we got a history of where you from, where you trying to go, what yeah. you're going through currently, how your music is, your demographic. Not saying that if you're forty you can't listen to what he right. got going yeah, on. Of course. But yeah. I know from what I saw, I, I just try to go back and look at the numbers sometimes and see how I'm doing, like the Spotify for artists and the Apple for artists and stuff. And they'll tell you up there, like, or even you, on Instagram and all that. Have you seen, like, yeah, especially with Instagram yeah. and stuff like that, have you seen, like, cities? Not just age groups, yeah, but have I, you seen, I've like, seen, right, like, what's I've, a city that really fucks with you right now? Um, I've, uh, last... Just off looking, I think I seen Baltimore, um, Chicago. I think Chicago was up there. Then I've seen Costa Rica. Costa Rica was up there. Um, a couple of places in Africa. I wish I had to pull it up, but it was a couple of uh, cities that fuck with me. Um, and I think artists should post that sometimes. Yeah. Like the though. show, to and give I do. I posted on my story one time to show different, like the different. Yeah, to like give encouragement to other artists to be like, right. look, people might not fuck with you in your city or your state, but it's people out there listening. Right. You know what I'm saying? And for you to say that you're from, born and raised in Portsmouth, and you got people from Chicago and Baltimore, right. Costa Rica listen to you, mm-hmm. that means your sound is tapping into different different people. people yeah. You know, different origins, different street life. Because I didn't had. Baltimore, Maryland as a whole is different. So yeah. if they like you, you're doing something. 
Yeah. Cause they quick to judge. I swear to God. And Chicago, you know how that street shit goes. Yeah. yeah exactly. Definitely. Well, that was that. That's because I was tripping. I'm like, damn, Chicago. They usually like drill. You know. And, you know what I'm saying? What's so, that you but, clean? Type shit. Right. Um, would Would you ever go like? Would you ever go to like uh, L. A. or Chicago or stuff like that? Yeah, I, I went to um, I went to the, I performed at the B. T. Awards last year. What? Yeah. How was that? That was great. It was a great experience. Yeah, great experience at the um L. A. Convention Center, right there mm. by the Staples Center and shit. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I, Too I, hot radio. That was the promoter and shit. I I'll be always yeah, like, like of independent artists out there and shit. Yeah, I'd be nervous. Not 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 saying like scary, but nervous because like I'm bullheaded in the way I how I feel. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I don't believe in a lot of gangs and streets yeah. and all that shit. Are you talking about like going over there and checking in and all that shit? Well, not even checking in. It's yeah. just where you're wearing because I like oh, my favorite okay, my yeah. favorite color blue. Yeah. I'll wear that every day. Every like, day, like, yeah. And they'd be like, and they'd be on gonna, some bullshit. You know what I'm saying? You gotta take that off. And be like, well, <laughs> bullshit. <laughs> Fuck you. you know yeah, know what I'm saying? it's a lot of um, where the hell you go over there and shit too. Do we have another song on here? Official music video. Yeah, that's a video. That's two videos, mm-hmm. but I got them songs on the. Um... Well, I tell you what, ladies and gentlemen. MCM yeah, yeah, yeah. Cause he got a he got a lot of songs on YouTube right now, and it's Big A twenty nine hundred on YouTube too, right? Yep. Tell them, tell them where they can find you on all social media platforms. You can find me. You can follow me on Instagram at Big A twenty nine hundred underscore. Um, I'm on Apple Music. Any any all streaming platforms, Big A twenty nine hundred. YouTube, Big A twenty nine hundred. Google, Big A twenty nine hundred. I'll pop up. I'm right there. And he also said that next time he comes for part two on the No Limit Podcast, he going to have some merch for me. You didn't hear that part, but he, yeah. I, I'm just going to remember. It's in there. I said it real fast. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going to have that. We're going to have some you. tickets for some new shows. Uh-huh. We got an album releasing in, uh, next month. Yeah, we probably was trying to put an um, album release party together. Right? You definitely get an invite. I definitely need you there. Yes, sir. Yep, yes, definitely. sir. I'm passing out four locals to everybody. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Four local for That's you. That's shit. Four local. Honestly, bro, I ain't gonna lie to you. And a lot of people say, "Oh yeah, I, I was drinking four locals at 15 and 19." That's uh-huh. you know, shit like that. I didn't find out about four locals until I was like 22. For real? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And like, so I'm going through my 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 time period. Four with local it. for it's like face. a chaser for me. Yeah. Like. You give me a four loco and a bottle of Patron, mm-hmm. and I'll make you the best fucking beat ever. For real, man. On my mama. <laughs> like during my during my wild times, like my wild days, like the breakups and shit like that. That was uh-huh. my combo, and I made the best music back then, like best beats, best everything. Yeah, yeah, I did. Back yeah. then, in the studio fall up. Bro, it's <laughs> sounding great. And then when I get sober, I'll be like, "Damn, who made that?" And I hear my mm-hmm. tag, and I'll be like. My nigga, yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But yeah. if I try to do a sober, that shit, it don't come out like, yeah, it, like it's it is. garbage. Yeah. It'd be like that though. Yeah. I gotta have a little blunt or something in the studio too. Cause... But like I said, ladies and gentlemen, this has been a fantastic interview. You know what I'm saying? Next time we're gonna pull out the energy out of his ass. We're gonna he gonna be hype. <laughs> he gonna be standing on the couch type shit. You know what I'm saying? Hopefully next time we're gonna have the album all released so we can yeah. listen to all that music. We're going to have more experiences on the shows, more features, more merch. And, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm very I'm very excited, man. I'm very excited. Definitely. So, till next time, ladies and gentlemen, this has been the No Limit Podcast. <laughs>